اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والحمد للہ وصلاۃ والسلام على اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین سیدنا و نبینا و حبیبنا و مولانا محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و من اتبع بهداه الى يوم الدين فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهادي هدي محمد صلى الله تعالی علیہ وسلم و شر الامور محدثاتها و كل محدثه بدیه و كل بدیه دلاله و كل دلاله في النار ربي اشرح لي صدري و يسر لي امري و حلول عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي لا تؤاخذني مما يقولون و اغفر لي ما لا يعلمون و اجعلني خيرا مما يسمون اما بعد من دير راسا سيساس الاسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Welcome one more time to the house of Dua The channel from which you learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about his creation, about his message, about his messenger and his chosen religion known as Al-Islam and of course the channel from which you learn about how to live well in the world we live now according to the rules and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to return back to him for even a greater happiness on the day of accountability. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, the month of Ramadan is over. Today, we are coming to you with an alarm, a serious reminder. And we are beginning with hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, the alarm, on, which is reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. There are other reports similar to that in Sahih al-Muslim and Sunan al-Trimidhi. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, pay attention to this. And Abi Huraira radi alam an. And who call a call a Rasulullah sallallahu wa ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Izzad dakala Ramadan. Futihati abu wa abu sama. Wa gul keti abu wa abu jahannam. Wa susulet shayatin. According to Abu Huraira, the Prophet sallallahu wa ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said that when the month of Ramadan comes in, all the gates of heaven are widely open and all the gates leading to hell are shut completely closed out and of course the shaitan and his allies are placed in chains in other words they are locked up so that they don't have any influence over it my dear brothers my dear sisters now that the month of ramadan is over what do you expect the shaitan and his allies are rushing at you with their cavalries, with their infantry, with their weapons, with their pressure to attack you. That's the implication of this hadith. If they were locked up in the month of Ramadan, inevitably as we are free from the restrictions of Ramadan, they are also free from the restrictions of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. Who of you is going to respond to the cause of the shaitan? Shari was was with her nurse, and let's say you was with Sufis to do a nurse. When I'm Jin Nati one nurse, who is going to respond to that evil, evil of the whisperer who whispers into the hearts of men among the jinn and among men? My dear brothers, my dear sisters, this is a very big challenge because the month of Ramadan give us an opportunity to achieve a high level of spirituality. To get close to our last ban of water and to come out of fasting in the month of Ramadan with pure heart. But now that the month of Ramadan is over, you bet many of us are gradually returning to sinfulness. If care is not taken, therefore, all the gains we made in the month of Ramadan will be lost. Why? Because of the activities of the shaitan and the shayateen. My question, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters Islam is, have you seen the shaitan or the shayateen, its allies in men, in women, in money, in other things? Have you seen them? You may say no, but examine your heart and ask yourself what you are thinking about. Check your mouth and what you are using it to say. Check your feet. Ask yourself. Where have I been to since the end of the month of Ramadan? Check your hands and find out what you have done with your hands. What about your eyes? 
What about your nose and what about your ears? How have you used these body parts since the end of Ramadan? How well have you protected them against the activities of the shaitan and the shayati? That's why we are coming to you today with a note of warning that the shaitan is coming. And in fact, it's already around. Many of us are already missing our salawat, especially salatul fajr. Many of us are already doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us not to do. Many of us are already sluggish in the reading of the Quran. Many of us are hardly able to observe our five daily salawats nowadays. Why? Because we are being kept back by the shaitan. You need to return the battle to the shaitan to defeat him or her or it, whatever they may be. Be it in men or in women or in property or in any other form. Do not allow the shaitan to eliminate your gains in the month of Ramadan. And dear brothers, and their sisters. If you go to Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7 of the Quran, the shaitan had boasted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after he had been expelled from the mercy of Allah. He declared, Fabima agawetani lak udanna lohun swirata kalmustaki thumma lati annahu mi bini aidihim wa mi khalifihim now that you have expelled me from your mercy, I'm going to relay your slaves by the roadside. I'm going to ambush them. I will approach them from front of them and from behind them, and from their right hand and from their left hand. I will not give them any breathing space. I will pressure them to a level where you will not find any of them to be grateful to you, Ya Allah. That's what Shaitan boasted. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Shaitan, Inna ibadi lisa laka alayhi sultan. Those who are my true slaves, you shall not have any authority over them. That's why I believe in Allah. Getting close to him, consciousness of him, is your antidote against the shaitan. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, in the entire Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala passionately and passionately appeals to all of us. Several verses of the Quran, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeated that, do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan because the shaitan is your enemy. In Surah An Nur, in particular, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha lazina manu, la ta tabiyo kutuwati shaitan, o man ya tabi kutuwati shaitan, fa indohu ya amuru bil fahashai wal mukar. There is a passionate appeal from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those of us who are believers. Oh, you are believed. Do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Because those who follow the footsteps of the shaitan, the shaitan will not offer you anything other than to lure you into that which is abominable, to bring you to shame, and to lead you to transgression against Allah's ban of water, if not because of the mercy of Allah upon you. None of you can claim to be pure, but Allah's ban of water Allah purifies whatever he wants to purify. Allah is all hearing and all knowing. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, in Surah Fatri, which is chapter 35 of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares, Ya hayyuhan nas, inna wada la ihaqqo, falata gurra nukum li ayatu dunia, wala ya gurra nukum bila ilkaru, inna shaitana lukum aduun, fatakizuhu aduun, 
Namaya da on his bone, a poor no, me as I say. Oh, you mankind, remember that the promise of Allah that there will be accountability is true, it will surely come to pass. Get ready for it. Don't allow the chief deceiver to deceive you, the shaitan. And don't allow the life of this world to deceive you. Surely the shaitan is your enemy. Therefore, take him as your enemy too. Take her as your enemy too. Take it as your enemy too. Take them as your enemy too. Because the shaitan and his allies, they do nothing but to invite you to that which will lead you to self-destruction. That's the goal of the shaitan. Therefore, you need to be very conscious of the shaitan. What can be a better time for us to listen to this great revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Than the beginning of the month of Shawa, from now on, to another Ramadan, God will be conscious, God will be at alert against the shaitan. Otherwise, all your gains in the month of Ramadan will just be wiped out overnight. Imagine somebody who has invested so much and is having millions. Every day he takes a look at them. He's so high in his level of confidence that life is good for him. But all of a sudden, overnight, there was an earthquake and such wealth got wiped away. No insurance, no nothing. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, what about somebody who has planted so well in the farm? The crops have done so well. He's looking forward to a great harvest. And from nowhere, a frosty, dry wind came over the farm, followed by fire, and that farm got raised down. No insurance. It could happen to you like that. Your deeds could just be lost overnight because of the activities of the shaitan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us against the shaitan. And that's why we are coming to you today with a beautiful dua. A beautiful dua that will help you stay alive, stay protected, stay beloving to your Iman. Protecting your gains of Ramadan. That's why we're coming to you today with that dua. And we're going to come to you with another prophetic dua that is associated with this dua. In Surah Ali Muran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Abana, la tuzikulu bana, bada ezi hadetana. Oh Allah, do not cause us to go astray after you have guided us to the straight path. And grant us your Rahama, your mercy, for you are the one who does not vary your promise. My dear brothers, my dear sister, that's a beautiful dua that we need to hang on to as part of our tools and weapons against the Shaitan. We go back to Surah Al Hujurat, chapter 49 of the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inja, okun fasi kun bi nabe, patabayanu, patabayanu, atu si buka uma bi jalati, fatu subi hu ala ma falitu, nadime, walemu, anafi kun rasul la, la yote okun fi katere minan amula mitu. Well, I can allow her baba elekum on a man. I was I am now of a cool obecum. Okara elekum on Kufura one for so cowl is here. Ola, I come on, Rashi don't. To those of you who have believed, when an evil doer comes to you with a piece of news verified before you act on it so that you don't go and harm innocent people, remember that the messenger of Allah is in your midst, even though he's not physically here. The Quran he brought to us is here. The hadith he left behind for us is also here. If the messenger were to, you know, adjust to your own self-desires, if the Quran were to be adjusted to suit your self-desires, you definitely find yourself in difficulty. No, the Quran is pure. It cannot be... It cannot be compromised. The hadith is pure. They cannot be compromised to suit your own self-desire. Because that will lead you to self-destruction. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the iman loving to you. 
ya sola bien diadi to your heart bokara ele kuma no kufura won fusuka ole sia and he has made your heart hateful of disbelief and rebelliousness and transgression like a homo rashid those who are able to stay away from all this disbelief transgression and rebelliousness those are the ones who are guided those are the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the doors of Jannah for. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, whenever the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam read the Quran and got to this verse, he will pause, a long pause, and supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma habibu ili nani imana wa zayini hum fi kulubina wa karihi ili nani kufura wa nfusuka wa lisiyaa Ojalina amina rashidi o Allah abibole na imana waza imi o kikulubina again you be asking Allah and dear to our heart iman and make it beautiful to us to our hearts la hakubal kubal o karile na kufura wulu fusuka wulu siyan o Allah make our heart disliking or hateful to disbelieve. And rebelliousness and transgression. And make us among those who are truly guided. The Prophet always recited this dua. There can be no better moment for us to apply this dua to our lives than now, now that we have just completed our fasting in the month of Ramadan. Therefore, I recommend these two dua for you. Abana la tu zikulu bana bara ibi hadeta na wahabla na mila dun karama in na karanta na wah. Allahumma habibu ile na imana waza yini mufi kulu bina ukari ile na kufura wana fusuka wali nsiya wajali na mina rashidi. May Allah make it so for us. May Allah take shaitan away from our lives and take our lives far away from the shaitan. May Allah help us keep the gates of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to help us keep the gates of Ramadan. And to protect us against the activities of the shaitan and the shayatin. Abana tabamina ina kanata semina lina tuwa lena ya marana ina kanata nge fulu mkani. Bana lai wabi amdi, bana kala wabi amdi. Nashadu alai la ilanta nasa yafluka wana tuwe ileka humbuli.